Hello everyone and welcome back to round 5 of the F1 2006 Championship Edition career mode. Yes, we're back this weekend here for the European Grand Prix. Now, obviously, normally, I don't do back-to-back -back uploads of any series at this point on the channel. Um, but to be completely honest, I was really annoyed uh, with myself yesterday. If you missed out on the San Marino Grand Prix, I would recommend going back and checking it out. And I think the bigger problem I've got with this game at the moment is that I'm just not playing it consistently enough. So what I might have to start doing is record, say, two or maybe even three episodes in a day uh, and then maybe not touch the game for a week so when things inevitably go wrong I'm not left too frustrated with it but yeah as we head towards Germany though this weekend this should on paper be a good track for us um, we almost scored points in our first season I believe we did score points here last season um, and you can see yeah Michael Schumacher currently still leading the way there are already 22 points back behind the Germans so we need to start scoring some big points and hopefully trying to haul in the gap on the top runners here at the moment it kind of looks like we're battling it out with the McLarens there as the Ferraris and the Renaults uh, streak away at the front of the field I believe Ferrari you've got a one point lead uh, in the Constructors Championship as well yeah 54 to 53 there as we are currently locked into battle uh, with Honda for P4 so fingers crossed this weekend we can have a bit of a better result uh, like I said I'm literally just coming back in I just want to try and get into a routine of scoring points again on this game. Get yourself subscribed if you're new around here as well. We're trying to hit 125k at the moment. And yeah, let's do this thing. That, that is why I hate Jacques Villeneuve on this game. I don't know how many times he's done that on this series. Um, but he, that is massively frustrating. Because he'll get in my way. And then we've basically got to try and overtake him immediately like that down at turn one. That one was my fault. I'm returning back to the Nürburgring and then luckily this is one of the more forgiving tracks on F1 Championship Edition. The only real problems you get are actually down usually at the final chicane there so yeah really I'm hoping this weekend we can have a bit of a better result. Um, of course as always hoping we can try and take another pole position in this series. Uh, we've gone three for four so far. I'd love to try and make it at least ten poles over the course of the year but yeah this chicane so scary um i know i've spanned there before when trying to fight with other cars as well so gotta try and avoid making that mistake a bit like we did at imola last weekend but hopefully yeah we just we need to return to the points here we cannot let schumacher build up too big of a lead here we are once again at the nurburgring for saturday qualifying as usual, we're expecting it to be as exciting and incident-filled as ever. So let's press on with session one. Hey, what do they do there to pick up a penalty? I, I love the pit lane rules on this game as well. They can be wildly inconsistent track from track. But yeah, heading out the wind to qualifying. Um, if practice is anything to go by, we have got quite a lot of pace here. So I'm hoping, without any dramatics, this one might be another easy session for us. Our first lap here then in Q1. I'm targeting to try and see if we can get under 90 seconds for a lap here. Uh, for a reference, the AI in practice were doing about high 132s. So we we should be comfortable in qualifying. Come on, Toro Rosso, out of the way, please. Round the outside through the hairpin. Not exactly what I wanted, but we'll make it work. And hopefully we didn't lose much time in the process. I submit though, this Toyota feels like it's absolutely coming alive are in this Nürburgring venue at the moment. One minute seven by the end of the second split. How will we make our way through the final chicane? Pretty tidy. You can see just how much time you gain from it against the AI there through the final corner. Don't hit the inside wall. We'll get pretty close to the back of that Super Aguri. But it is a 130.1. That should be us easy through. Well, we were six and a half seconds clear of the drop zone there, but looks like no surprises this weekend. Uh, Christian Albers couldn't bring any more heroics, um, but yeah, th this should be easy, easy pole. All right, come on then, send it through the final chicane. Oh, a little bit deep on the entry, actually. Not my greatest run ever, but one more corner to go then once more. Come on, show me a 29. That's all I want to see here. Up towards the line, it is going to be a 30.0. We are so close to doing a 129, but I just cannot seem to extract it out of the car. Big shock then out in Q2, Fernando Alonso 
will line up P11 on the grid then. So he's going to have to try and make some moves tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we're still two and a half seconds clear of the Michael Schumacher. So let's let's go take pole here. Well, I hyped up Ferrari, but everyone else seems to go in quicker at the moment. Giancarlo Fisichella now having to fly the Renault flag here in Q3. 135.9 for him. We should still, I mean, looking at the moment, we should still be comfortably quicker than that. I think this is going to be sort of a high 31, a low 32. As long as I don't mess up this final chicane, which I almost do. Luckily, just a quick dab of the brake there straightens up the rear of the car. Through the final corner, though, up towards the start finish line. It is going to be a 1 minute 32, 131.8 there. And that should, should be pole position. So there we have it. From 10th to pole, the grid order looks like this. Great qualifying session. I've really enjoyed it, and I'm sure you have too. Looking at the grid lineup, there seems to be a number of intriguing battles waiting to be resolved on race day. We look forward to sharing it with you. Goodbye. Well, there we go. Five cars from five different teams making up our top five at the end of qualifying there. Juan Pablo Montoya, Rubens Barrichello, I'm sure happy to be as close as they are to Michael Schumacher, but 1.7 seconds clear at the top. Uh, however, we've taken pole by bigger margins in this game before and still haven't walked away with a victory. That is very, very small part of the challenge. Let's get into it, though. It's ready for the European Grand Prix. Quickly, though, before we get into this video, I want to thank all of the names you see on your screen. Without their continued support of the channel, none of the work we do here would be possible. And if you want to get your name featured on this list, you can click the join button or click the Patreon link down in my description below and support the channel from just £1 a month. You will also get access to weekly updates about everything going on behind the scenes and also occasionally some early pre reviews on videos so yeah a massive thank you to my youtube members and my patreon supporters and let's get back to the video this is the european grand prix live from the world famous nurburgring in germany germany has the honor of hosting two grand prix but there are strict rules that a country can only host one race per year so the nurburgring's race is the european grand prix the nurburgring doesn't have the glamour of monaco the location of montreal or the weather of Melbourne, but what it does have is the ability to put on some truly thrilling races. It's a clear day here at the moment, good visibility for the drivers. You have pole! Second on the grid is Michael Schumacher. They're followed by Giancarlo Fisichella in third. Fourth is Rubens Barrichello. Montoya takes fifth. Felipe Massa takes sixth. Button is seventh. Jarno truly occupies eighth on the grid. Oh, both Toyotas then inside the top eight ready for this Grand Prix. Happy uh, with the pace truly was able to sho uh, showcase in that session. Nick Heifeld as well. Shout out to Sauber. They are not a good car in this game. Uh, they are pretty much, I think, the worst non backmarker. But we have taken so many pole positions this season. But still yet to see the checkered flag in P1. Come on. This is surely going to be Toyota's day. Michael Schumacher then giving me the hurry up on this outlap. Let's see, yeah, everyone else now slowly starting to close in. But then what Michael will do is just drop back very dramatically as you get round towards the grid. In a bid to try and make sure your tyres are much colder than his. Even in a game, he's still a cheeky, cheeky person. But through the final corner... Ready on the grid then here for the German Grand Prix. I am nervous but excited. Don't go anywhere. Turn up the volume and enjoy. Here we go. The race is go, go, go. Absolutely terrible start. Not good for me. To a great start. As does Michael Schumacher. I think Schumacher honestly came in clutch for me then. Because we were going to lose a lot of spots. There's been an incident at turn one. It's Coulthard. Retirement was the last thing he needed. But unfortunately, that's the case. Weber was the other car involved in that. It looks like he's got away scot free. Well, there we go. Next year's Red Bull lineup. Uh, having an incident then down at turn one. David Coulthard out 
of the Grand Prix there is really struggling actually with tyre attempts. Yeah, the backmarker AI cars really did take their time to get up to the start finish line, so we've actually lost out on quite a lot of grip here at the start, but luckily we've kept on to the lead. Giancarlo Fisichella as well making a move on Schumacher. It looked like both myself and Michael actually bogged down uh, off the start of this GP, so that's actually not worked out too badly because I think Fisichella was probably going to get the jump on me uh, had Michael also not tripped over himself. So as we try and make our way, though, through the rest of lap one, we just got to try and keep it clean and tidy. We've already got a 1.2 second lead over Fisichella, but it's normally the early laps where we end up making the mistakes. Navigate our way through the chicane. Got to be really careful on that heavy fuel. You just have not got the performance that obviously you've come off the back of qualifying with. Uh, we have also opted to fill up the car with a lot of fuel as well, simply because, obviously, if there's rain later on in the day, I don't want Michael Schumacher to get the jump on me. First lap completed, the field looks like this. You now lead the race. Fisichella is second. He's up from third. Michael Schumacher third. Montoya fourth. Barrichello fifth. He's lost a place from his starting position. Massa sixth. Seventh is Button. And Raikkonen is eighth. Good start. We just put in the best time through sector one. A bit disappointed then. Looks like Jarno Trulli has dropped out of the points early on here. That is Kimi Raikkonen, yes, yeah, seemingly making some moves. Barrichello as well, going backwards. So, yeah, Rubens was hoping for a better result here, but Massa's jumped past him. A bit of P5 there. Ferrari looks to be one of the only teams with two cars scoring good points as we've already got oil out. That's Fisichella, I think, stopping. Giancarlo Fisichella is out of the Grand Prix. So suddenly that's going to give me an even bigger lead then. But gutted for Renault, and Michael Schumacher will say thank you very much and move it to P2. It also means that we've got a huge lead, five and a half seconds there, as Fisichella has come in clutch for me. Great last sector, the quickest you've been through there. Great work, you just posted a new fastest lap time. All we really need to make sure we're doing today is just setting like 1 minute 32s, because we know the AI can't match that. Already six seconds ahead of Michael Schumacher by the end of lap two. Surely we can't bottle this. Surely not. Got to be careful. Avoid that oil that Fisichella left somewhere around the circuit. Okay, we've managed to get round it, apparently. No, there it is. What is that by the game? I, I could have gone into the Schumacher S then with oil on my tyres and no idea about it. Where on earth is that oil then? There's more that's been dropped. There we go. So no idea who are now is out. I think that is a BMW Sauber. So... Actually, no, it's a Williams. It's probably Rosberg. Rosberg cannot finish races in this game, apparently. He is on Toya, yeah, up into the podium places. That'd be a good result for McLaren here. Um, but, yeah, Alonso as well, moving his way up. That's what we want to hear. Martin Brundle reporting no weather, although often when he says that, the opposite then happens anyway. But as we start lap five, we're opening up that gap still to Michael. How on earth did we just do a 130.3? i got no idea how he managed that, but the gap to Michael now, almost 10 seconds. The top eight are as follows. You now lead the race. Michael Schumacher is in second. Third is Juan Pablo Montoya. Huh. Massa fourth. That's my first little mistake since probably lap one here. Goes to show that, yeah, the tyres are starting to wear off slightly. Uh, luckily as well, Michael Schumacher now... Uh, the gap is so big, even the Delta can't keep up. It's up over 11 seconds. As we get towards half distance then, starting to see a few more of the AI into the pit lane. We've still got five more laps of fuel, but I certainly don't think we're going to go that deep into the afternoon. Um, I'm probably just going to try and wait till after Michael Schumacher's pit. Simply as I said, because I don't want to get screwed if it does rain. What well, it looks like then, our top three in this Grand Prix seem to be the ones able to go the furthest on their fuel. So clearly, yeah, myself, Montoya and Michael are all looking very, very quick. Yano Trudy up at a P4. I'd love to see him get some big results this season. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. Oh, there we got Michael in. So this works out beautifully. We can dive in at the end of this lap. Montoya as well. Oh, I want to stay out. No, he's in as well. So he almost go over the grass there. That's a nice, easy way to spin yourself out. 
sure Toyota want to put this in a scrapbook, although it's only going to be for probably a lap or so. We have got a 1-2 in this Grand Prix. It's halfway through the Schumacher S is not where you let a car by. Nice and easily in on pit entry. We've got nothing to gain by risking it on the way in. So we will just tip the car in nicely. Get away from that wall on the outside. Luckily, you don't have to do the chicane or anything like that here. Um, but yeah, so far so good then in this GP. A few of the pit crew out actually on the pit road there. So I'm not too sure what that's about. Let's try and get a nice tidy stop though. There we go, 8.9. I always say under 9 seconds I'm happy with on this game. And that's exactly what we've done there. Has Yano opted to stay out, or is he also diving in? Uh, Yano, he should have time to come in if he wants to, and I believe he is. So Toyota then, yeah, really gambling it, actually, on um, bringing both drivers in. You now lead the race. In second, it's Trulli. Michael Schumacher third, Montoya fourth, Felipe Massa is fifth. Oh, Trulli's just come out in P9 then, right behind Fernando Alonso. So he's going to have fresh tyres to the end, but I'm not convinced he's going to be able to do anything here. Would have been nice to see my teammates score another point. But for us, we just got to try and avoid the lap cars and bring this thing to the flag. Seven laps to go. Great time to sector three, keep it up. I'll put the cattle on. I've only ever heard that message twice on this game, and both times we've been here we at the Nürburgring. All right, come on then, lap cars. Let's see what they're going to do. I mean, look at that. Super Aguri just parks it in through the final chicane. There. You can see why we're gaining so much time through this final sector on the AI. But as I've said, you know, we've got pretty much the entire final sector now as an advantage over Michael Schumacher. So we do not need to take any risk at this stage of the day. Got a middle in there. Next up, I believe that might be Montero. What is he doing? I already have to drive round you, mate. There's no point then moving off the racing line. Uh. Oh. oh, I thought that could have been really bad then. Super Aguri just brake checks me through the hairpin. We get clean around him before the Schumacher S. Boy, oh boy, do the AI need to learn how blue flags work. As we head into the final few laps, you now lead the race. Michael Schumacher is in second. Third is Juan Pablo Montoya. Massa, fourth. Barrichello, fifth. Jensen Button in sixth. In seventh is Raikkonen. And in eighth place, Alonso. And I'm hoping that might be the last car we need to lap here, but I think we might just get up to that Toro Rosso as well before the end. Not that I'm going to worry too much if we don't, but yeah, this is the kind of race we can run on this game. It just still seems to happen once in a blue moon. Or, if I might just genuinely have to start batch recording these videos. Just so that way I'm in the zone a bit more. Come on, Toro Rosso. Where is he going? I don't think I've ever seen a Formula 1 car with that much understeer. I don't think I've ever seen a Formula 1 car lift in that situation as well. But, we're through. That's hopefully the last lap car I've got to deal with. Let's just get this thing to the flag. You've started the final lap of the race in the lead. Time in that final sector. Only one lap to go. Race finish in one lap. Sure, I mean, even now, we're just one to go. I'm still not saying that this is in the bag yet because we've just seen how many times things can go wrong inside F1 Championship Edition. But surely today is finally going to be Toyota's day on this game. We've had so many near misses, so much heartbreak. And we're only on round five of the season but surely we can bring it around this final lap today and finally give Toyota what they deserve here and finally showcase to Renault and Ferrari that we are here to fight for a world championship. To be fair, Michael Schumacher today, had it not been for me, would have actually taken quite a dominant race victory anyway, but we have more than opened up the gap over the Michael as we make our way through these final few corners. I know I've said it before but as well, but I love the fact... Um, you can hear the other cars screaming around the circuit as well. But in towards the final few corners then of this GP. We just want to see ourselves through to the chequered flag now. But Toyota, so much work has gone into the car for this season. That we've been rapid over one lap in qualifying. But we've struggled in the race through the final corner. 
it is going to be P1 here at the German Grand Prix. And we'll do a sub 130 on the final lap as well. Get in there. You've done it. That's a truly momentous win. You take maximum points from this Grand Prix. Michael Schumacher will take second place. It's been a captivating weekend here at the Nürburgring. Plenty of action, plenty of surprises. It's been a brilliant weekend of racing here in Germany. The tens of thousands of F1 fans that travel here from all over Europe have seen a great spectacle today and they'll be going home happy. I've enjoyed it immensely and we hope you have too. We'll see you again in only seven days time in Barcelona where the 2005 world champion Fernando Alonso will be looking to seal a home victory in front of his loyal fans. Until next week, goodbye and take care. Well, I was bang on then. Once again, Rosberg, he's still yet to finish a race so far this season. It has been a year to forget so far for the German there. But yeah, with so much German influence around the sport, you know, Michael Schumacher, McLaren Mercedes, Sauber as well, obviously BMW, and a few other teams littered up and down the grid as well as a couple of drivers. We have taken the dub here today, and that is going to bump us up into P6 overall there. Four points back behind Juan Pablo Montoya as Massa now leapfrogs both of the Renaults there. 28 to their 27 points apiece. Uh, Constructors-wise as well, uh, we are still P4 there. I think maybe we can fight McLaren this season, uh, but it is going to be a tough old task. There is Sauber BMW uh, apparently as well. Get a point on the board when all is said and done. But thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like. Get yourself subscribed. We'll be back probably over the weekend then with round six, where we head to the Spanish Grand Prix.